What is going on, folks? It is K-Spade, the prospect. I am back today with a brand new NCAA Football Miami Hurricane Dynasty video. As you can see, man, the Canes, we sitting fat down south, man. We are number one in the ACC Coastal. We 7-0 in the conference, 10-1 overall. We did have that one hiccup to Nebraska. Tommy Armstrong played phenomenal, though. I guess we got to give him that credit. But today we have unranked Virginia Tech. Now, you guys are probably looking at this game like an easy walk through the park, but it is not that. I have to let you know. Virginia Tech is kind of like, you know, the bully. I ain't going to say the bully, but they like our rival from back in the day. See, both of these teams used to be in the Big East Conference, and we used to duke it out back there. So, you know, when we came to the ACC, they followed, and the little bit of bad blood we got in our past is still there. Now, I know that Frank Beamer is no longer the head coach of Virginia Tech, but this team right here that we're about to play, this is this is Beamer's team, all right? Like, Beamer ball is about to be played. Just know that. So let's get into it, man. First drive of the game. You got the Canes over here on defense. We got Demetrius Jackson right here. This is a player that we really didn't call his name very much to start the season off. And now, recently, he's just been making play after play after play. He's been playing phenomenal. Speaking of guys who've been playing phenomenal, none other than Joseph Yearby. Joseph Yearby came back from the injury like a man possessed. And speaking of a man possessed, Stan Dobar, we trapping out the Stan Doe. Beautiful pass, he made a tough catch in between two defenders, broke the tackle, took it all the way to the house. The big fellow was chugging down the field, yo. He is not fast, but right there, he just wanted that touchdown. 7-0 King. So this game starts off like we're accustomed to seeing Miami games start off. Still a whole lot of football left. Let's see how things will go. Virginia Tech put in an emphasis on running the football. That running back Edmonds goes down right here kind of awkwardly. He stayed down for a minute, but it didn't look super serious. The very next play, they go QB keeper. I don't know if it's Motley or Motley, whatever it is. Stop him. Stop this guy, whoever he is. He picks up a huge game. He's got two carries for almost 40 yards. He rushes them back to the line of scrimmage. They're only a yard or two out, so... You can pretty much expect the run. They go keeper last minute read option flip to the running back. McKenzie just got in the game because the starting running back kind of tweaked something and went down. Okay, so just like that, we got a 7-7 game. You got the Miami offense back on the field trying to respond because the defense, even though they did give up some points against UNC, this defense has looked nothing short of dominant for like the last five weeks in a row. I mean, dominant. Right here, though, the Miami offense can't pick up the first down. They bring the field goal crew on, and they're able to boot one right through the uprights. They go up 10-7. Now, this defense is back on the field. Now, the, help, the running back, Edmonds, is back. He's healthy, right? I told you guys that injury didn't look too serious. He is back on the field. He's looking to do work. Third down for VTech right here. Beautiful pass. Artie Burns was out there. I'm not really sure how that pass was called. Isaiah Ford made a hell of a catch. Artie Burns was right there. Okay, Motley, Motley, whoever you are, I'm going to call him Motley. That's what it looked like to me. Motley would have, I guess he just trusts the receiver because that wasn't a great pass, but it was an amazing catch. Again, he rushes the guys back to the line of scrimmage. They go no huddle. They're going to hand it off to Edmonds. The Canes was about to blitz the middle of the line. The counter was the perfect play call, and they get a huge gain of yardage on that. Right after that, Motley with the QB keeper. This guy's picking up almost 10 a pop. Miami got to make some adjustments. Like, whatever we're doing right now is not working. We got to change something, or this thing going to get ugly. I'm talking about, like, with the long ugly. It's going to get ugly. First and 10, man. McKenzie back in the game again. This is his second score of the day. He ain't even a starter. This man loving this. You let your quarterback get you down inside the five, and you just run straight and put your head down. Miami trails in this game, and I think this is the first time Miami has trailed in a game since the Nebraska game. I could be wrong, but I don't think Miami has trailed since the Nebraska game. We should be concerned. Third and seven for Kaya. Time in the pocket. He zips one to one of his favorite targets, man. Stando, boy. We trapping out the stando. When you get another look at this play, man, you can see Kaya put something behind that pass right there. Zip that guy in there, and it's a good thing he did. Virginia Tech has the speed in their secondary that we ain't really accustomed to seeing. 
We used to Stacy Coley being able to get out here and get a lot of separation. This DB over here running up Stacy Coley heels. He's scuffing up the back of his tennis shoes, all right? It's crazy. The Canes put another three on the board, man. We get a scoring update. If the Canes can get out of this game victorious, I don't want to count the chickens before the eggs hatch. But if the Canes can get out of this game victorious, it looks like they're on a crash course. Come on, Artie. Looks like they're on a crash course with the Clemson Tigers. Now, Deshaun has been playing amazing. So I don't know if that's what the Canes want. I don't know. But we got to see. Third down right here. Motley goes down. Big time sack. Now, that's what we're accustomed to seeing right there. Finally, Canes defense stand up and make a play. Kaya, however, was under some pressure, tried to pick up some yardage with his feet. That didn't go too good, y'all. He is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And Miami taking a page out of Virginia textbook. They're going to rush the guys back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to go no huddle and try to put some pressure on this Virginia Tech defense. Try to catch them off guard. Get them in a bad spot. They're going to check it down to Stacey Coley underneath. Sometimes you get it to your playmakers and you let them make plays after the catch. Stacy Coley put them back in field goal range. We haven't seen this many field goal attempts from Miami in a long time. We ain't even made it to the half. That's the third field goal so far from Miami. They go into the half with a narrow lead. When you look at the stats right there, no turnovers for either team. A lot of rushing yards for Virginia Tech. The passing advantage is favoring. Uh, Miami, and that's crazy because Brad Kaya is being frustrated. Like, the pressure's getting to him, and the secondary is playing great. So this ain't even a Brad Kaya-esque game. Gus Edwards gets in right there and gets nothing. Second and eight, they go back to Yearby. Yearby makes a move, cuts outside, got the stiff arm, pushing the defender off, keeping the feet moving, picking up about five more yards before he is brought to the turf. Brad Kaya dropping back the pass. Oh, no. That's my bad. That's my bad. Damn. I didn't see the guy in the zone. That one right there was on me, Brad. That's on me, fam. My bad. 16-14. Miami defense back on the field hoping they can stop Virginia Tech again. Virginia Tech, man, they got a trash record, too. I guess they just turned up when they see Miami. Like I say, man, we got a rivals from back in the day. They know us. We know them. Where's the pressure? No pressure gets to Motley. He had all day in the pocket. He delivered a pass. If you're going to give any quarterback that much time, they're going to make you pay for it. And right here, this is a very awkward play. Jermaine Grace was stiff on by Motley. It looked like it pissed Jermaine off. He got back in the play and would make the tackle. And, of course, Virginia Tech with a no huddle, rushing them back to the line of scrimmage, trying to get another play off. Canes elect not to change the play. They stay in the same blitz formation that they were showing. Check this out. Motley dropping back. The pocket collapsing down on him. He's hit. He fumbles the pigskin. It is on the turf. Miami swears they got it. All the Miami guys get up, point the other way. We get another look, and you can see Motley put it on the turf. It is definitely out before he goes down, and it wasn't nothing but white jerseys around the pigskin. Of course, Miami gets it back. That was huge for the Miami defense. Huge. Now, let's see what the offense can do with it. Oh, my God. What a hit. Jerome Washington made the catch. I guess great job holding on to it, but the boy got flipped. That's a big boy, too. The boy got flipped. Check this out. Second and seven, Brad Kaya has a receiver. Look at A. A has a step. You just got to throw up. That one right there ain't my fault, y'all. I don't care what you say. That one is not my fault. Kaya, you got to lead him, fam. On that pass right there, it's either a reception or it's an incomplete pass because you overthrew everybody. You got to get that pass out there. Miami turns it over again. Virginia Tech, they look like they fighting a little bit too, man. The Kane defense, I know they're tired. They can't get off the field, but they fighting. They digging deep. They digging deep. Demetrius coming up with another big-time play. I told you, we went from never saying this guy's name to him just like, Making big time plays week after week. Look at Joseph Yearby. He bounces outside, cutting through the traffic. Oh my goodness. He got caught by like a giant. Look at 43 on the left side of the screen. He's playing defensive end. I don't know where he came from, but he looks every bit of six foot eight. Look at this big joker. How the hell he catch Joseph from behind? Come on, man. Get out of here. Yearby says, you know what? Just stick with me, team. I got y'all. Speaking of. Speaking of I got y'all, beautiful. Gus Edwards gets in right here. He gives out the punishment, and this is a Virginia Tech defender hurt. Like, he tried to tackle Gus, and it didn't go good for him. He is down. Right here, man, Miami finds their way back into the painted area of the end zone. Let's go. Joseph Yearby scores right here, man. The Canes 
rallying around that dude. He has really had a tremendous season since coming back from the injury. He is currently number one in the Heisman race. After being hurt for four weeks, he is number one in the Heisman race. That's crazy. Fourth quarter action, man. It is 23-14. Miami at this point, all you got to do is just kind of do a little bit of bend, but don't break. I don't want to tell the team it's okay if they score, but even if they He's score, we should be good, right? Like, we good. Brendan Motley, though, he out here carving this defense up. The read option was working. It was working well. Edmonds is back in the game. He's still running the ball tough. This man has been out the game twice today with injuries, and he's still running the ball hard. Still, I see you. Look at this funky play right here. Nice little read option. Looked like it was supposed to be a triple. The quarterback kept it, shed it, a would-be tackle attempt from Corin Elder, gets into the end zone. This boy, Brendan Motley, he gonna be playing on Sundays. Now, I ain't saying he gonna be a QB, but he might be a receiver or a running back. He definitely has great field vision, and he knows what to do with the pitch skin when he take off. He knows what to do. He gets in the end zone, man. It is 21-23. It's less than two minutes remaining in the game. Miami just want to get a couple of first downs. But Joseph Yearby said, the hell with that. Joseph trying to score again. I see you, fam. Virginia Tech over there getting the timeout. That's Beamer. I don't care what y'all say. That's, that's Beamer. Beamer with the timeout. Yearby, at the end of the game when the defense is tired and they trying to dig deep and give you everything they got, Joseph Yearby and Gus Edwards, they still running the ball like it's no tomorrow. They still running the ball hard. Yearby gets in the end zone again on that drive alone, man. This man was averaging eight a pop. I'm going to draw the curtains. The crazy thing is Virginia Tech will score again as well. They will score again. It don't really matter, though. They still lose. This just goes to show on any given Saturday or Thursday, we talking about college football here, any of these teams can come to play. So I'm not going to tell y'all that I'm afraid of Clemson because I'm not. But if Virginia Tech can come out here and play us this hard, I am concerned to see what Deshaun Watson and that Clemson offense can do. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there for right now. We look great over here, man. Undefeated in the ACC. That's all I got for today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video you did show your love by banging the like button if you are new here man there's some people sleeping on me fam they gotta wake up this year i'm out the next time folks peace